So welcome, and let's get started. So today I'll be using a five millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a darning needle and a pair of scissors. This is a fun project to do. It works up really fast and it's a great way to use up some of that leftover yarn. So today I've got some leftover yarn. It's a beautiful mustard color. It's very nice and soft. It is a number four weight, medium weight, and 100% acrylic. Let's start with a slip knot. We will then chain 12. Start in the second chain from the hook and we will do single crochet all the way across. So let's do 11 single crochet. This one here will be number nine. And then 10 and 11. Chain one and turn. We will now for row two, we're gonna do 11 double crochet. So starting in that very first stitch, let's do 11 double crochet all the way across. This one here will be number five. This is number nine. 10. And in that last stitch, we will put number 11 right there. We can then chain one and turn. We will start row three with three single crochet, one in each of the first three stitches. So one, two, and three. Our next stitch is called a front post treble crochet, two together. We are going to work this stitch in the very first single crochet row. We are gonna put it in the second single crochet from the end. We will start with yarn over two times. Insert your hook around the second single crochet on the bottom row, right behind. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and right now we will stop right here. We will then skip three single crochet. One, 
two, three, and we're going to go into the fourth one. So around the fourth one, we will make the other part of our front post. Yarn over two times, insert around that single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again, and now to finish the stitch, we will yarn over and pull through the final three. And there it is. Because we've really only created one stitch, we will now skip one stitch from behind and work into the next one, and we will put three single crochet, one in each of the next three. So skip the stitch, and right in there, so one, and then two, and three. We will now create another front post treble crochet two together. We are going to work the first part of it around the same post that we just finished. Yarn over two times, go around that post, so that same one we just did, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and then we're going to stop. And now we're going to skip three, so one, two, three, and work it into the next one, and we're going to finish it there. So yarn over two times, around that second last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and finish that stitch. We will skip one stitch behind, and then we will finish the row with three single crochet. So one, two, and three. And you'll still have 11 stitches. So this is your pattern for row three. For row four, we will do a chain one and turn, and we will do 11 double crochet, starting in the first stitch. And this is number 11. We can then chain one and turn. And let's start row five. We will start in the first stitch and we will do one single crochet. Our next stitch will be the front post treble crochet. And we are going to go around the top of that V or upside down V from the row below. So right in here. So we will start by yarning over two times, going around the stitch from below, yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We will then skip the stitch from behind, going into the next one. We will then do three single crochet. One, two, and three. We will then do the front post treble crochet two together. So the first side we're going to go around all three. So just here we're going to go right underneath that. That's going to be for the one side. So yarn over two times. Let's go underneath that entire thing. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over through two. 
yarn over through two. And now we're going to stop and now we're going to go to the other side. So the same thing on the other side. So yarn over two times, go underneath both, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and yarn over and finish. You will then skip the stitch from behind, just one. Going into the next one, we will do our three single crochet, one in each. One, two, and three. You should have two stitches remaining at the end of the row. So now we're going to do our last one here. We're going to do the front post treble crochet. So yarn over two times, going under there, pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. Skipping the stitch from behind, and then we're going to work in that very last stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. So at the top of it, right there. I can just get my hook in there. And finishing the row with the single crochet. So this is your pattern for row five. And that's it. Now, all we have to do is repeat rows two to five, and that's your entire pattern. So let's do a row two to five together. So row two will be 11 double crochet. Remember at the end of each row is always a chain one and turn. Row three, we'll start with three single crochet. One, two, three. And now our front post, treble crochet, two together, starting on the first one here. So going around the first post, Stopping there, going around the next post. So underneath both. Finishing your stitch. Skip one. Do three single crochet. Another front post treble, two together. Always yarning over twice. So yarn over, go through the center one. And on the two together, remember you're always stopping at the part halfway. Going up the next one. Finishing it off, skip one behind, and three single crochet to finish your row. One, two, three. That's row three. Chain one and turn, and we'll do 11 double crochet straight across for row four. Row five, we'll start with a single crochet, and then we'll do the front post treble crochet. So one, two, three times. We're going to skip one behind and then do three single crochet. And then we will do our front post treble crochet two together. So 
skip one behind, three single crochet, one, two, three, and one more front post treble crochet. Skip one behind and a single crochet at the end. So now we can just repeat rows two to five until you have reached your desired length. What a great pattern this is. You could use it for many things, pillows, afghans, but it's a good start for an ear band. I made mine about 20 inches long or 51 centimeters, but measure your head to see what's comfortable for you. Once you have reached the end, we're going to do a chain one and we will single crochet all along the edge. So try to put one single crochet at the end of each row. So just find that spot that you like and continue with one on the end of each row. When you have reached the end, bring your ends together. We can now slip stitch this end closed. Just match up your stitches and do a slip stitch to join the two together. We can weave our starting yarn in at the end. So going through one side and then picking up the other side and then a slip stitch. I don't worry about the seam being there on the outside because it does make the inside nice and smooth. This will also be gathered together and you will not see it. So on the inside it will be nice and comfortable on your head. We can now do our single crochet along our other side. So again Starting into one of the stitches, just pick any one you like. We're going to put one single crochet at the end of each row.
Once you have reached back around to the beginning, you can join together. So just join together with a slip stitch. So I'm going to put one more single crochet in there and the slip stitch. You can then cut your yarn and weave your ends. We can now do our little band at the front of the ear band. So starting with a slip knot, we're going to chain about 15 or 20. And it depends on how small you'd like that front pulled together. When you've reached how long you'd like it, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each stitch across. At the end we'll do a chain one and turn and we're going to repeat. So repeat it two more times for a total of three rows, or if you want a wider band, you can make it wider as well. Leave a small tail to weave the end together and to attach it to the ear band. Wrap this piece around the ear band and attach together, and I also like to attach it to the headband as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of these, please hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos come out. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.